Hey everybody. Okay, so sorry that today's video is late. Um, there's no one there, bud. But I had a meeting this morning, so that kind of helped me up for making this video. I guess I could have made it last night, but like, <laughs> why would I do that? Anyway, um, okay, so at this point, you guys should be at least within like Act 1, Act 2, Act 1, Act 2, because they're very short for Taming of the Shrew. Um, so to help along with that, I know that most of us probably just look at Spark Notes or No Fear Shakespeare. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown real fast. Okay, bear with me as I, I don't even know. Okay, so the induction was about Christopher Sly and honestly, he has nothing to do with the entire play. Okay, it's a play within a play. Um, the actual bigger picture play of The Taming of the Shrew could be without Christopher Sly even being there. Okay, so in act one, Lucentio and his servant Tranio arrive in Padua. Um, I would love to know like the names of these places, like how they show up. I don't know, they're probably real, but I have no idea. I should know these things. But anyway, the crowd, the, there's a huge crowd because if you watch the movie, it's a, um, a graduation has just occurred within the school that's in Padua. Okay, there's a university there, which is what brings Lucentio there. Um, he wants to go to school, but he is also told by Tranio, his servant, that we shouldn't just neglect, or we shouldn't only be here to study. We should, you know, uh, take pleasure in the simple things of life, mainly women, because that's what they thought about back then. M not much has changed, really, I guess. Anyway, um, so while we're, you know, like seeing, or they're walking around seeing this crowd, we then zoom in to Hortensio and Gremio, who are two older men. They're suitors, and they are trying to um, win the heart of Bianca. However, Bianca is not allowed to marry until her older sister, Katharina, marries. And the, those two are the daughters of Baptista, okay? And Baptista very, very badly wants to get rid of his older daughter because, quite frankly, he just he can't handle her. She's too much. She is, um, she's aggressive. She's loud. She's crass. You know, she's all the things that a woman is not supposed to be at this time period. So for that reason, nobody wants to marry her, which is why Baptista says Bianca cannot get married until Katharina is married because he knows that there is a line out the door to marry Bianca. Okay. So, um, <sighs> Hortensio and Gremio come up with the idea that they have to find somebody to marry Katharina for Bianca to even become available. Um, so in the meantime, they're going to help Baptista look for somebody to teach Bianca about, you know, uh, French and poetry and literature and everything, okay? Because she's, she's not going to a formal school. She's going to essentially be homeschooled, much like what we're doing right now, okay? So... Um, when they were, when Hortensio and Gremio were talking about this, Lucentio and Tranio were uh, kind of hiding and eavesdropping, and they could hear this, and he recalls that, that uh, Hortensio and Gremio mentioned providing or finding, locating a school teacher, and decides, I'm going to disguise myself, okay? So here's what we're going to do. This is where things get very confusing. Um, Shakespeare likes to do things of cross-dressing and switching up clothing. So anyway, um, so Lucentio decides that him and Tranio are going to switch places. Tranio will become Lucentio. Lucentio will become Tranio so that he doesn't seem like he has a higher status. Yes, there's a video. Yeah, thanks. Um, so at this point now, everybody is kind of someone else. Okay, so Lucentio has trained has changed to Tranio, Tranio has changed to Lucentio. That's gonna be the plan moving forward so that Lucentio disguised as Tranio could teach Bianca and thus woo her, okay? Um, sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to keep my thoughts together. Um, so now we go into act one, scene two. Petruchio arrives in Padua and he wants to go see um, Hortensio, his good old friend Hortensio. Okay, now this gets a little confusing because there's Gremio and Grumio, one letter difference. I don't know why Shakespeare does this, but whatever. Okay, so there's a little bit of a misunderstanding that they have. Hortensio sees Petruchio and is like, oh my gosh, this is so great. Um, 
and now that Petruchio's dad passed away, which he lets us know, he's now looking for a wife. And so this, at this point, Hortensio is like, oh my gosh, I got the girl for you. So he tells her, he tells him all about Katharina. Okay, Lucentio is disguised as a schoolmaster and presents himself to Gremio, Gremio, okay, who says, yes, we will have you tutor Bianca, okay? Um, th there's kind of like this weird love triangle because everybody wants Bianca and Bianca's just like, huh? Because she's a girl. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, Hortensio relays to Gremio the good news that Petruchio is going to woo Katharina. Gremio can't believe it. And Petruchio is cocky and arrogant. He says, I will get her. Oh, or some variation of that, okay? At this point, Tranio enters. He's disguised now as Lucentio. Um, he asks to find the house of Baptista. Well, really, he just wants to find Bianca. He says that he might be interested in one of the women that are there, so nobody knows if that means Katharina or Bianca, but we all know that it really means Bianca, okay? Um, let's see. They can all be friends. That's right. Okay, all right. So now we'll go to Act 2, because why not? Okay, so in Act 2, it is morning, and there is chaos at Baptista's house. Katharina is chasing Bianca. She ties her to the chair. Baptista is just like, oh my God, I have got to get rid of this woman. I can't get her out of my house fast enough. Who the hell is going to marry her? Um, and he is very angry with Katharina and therefore favors Bianca, which Katharina, this just adds fuel to her fire. Okay, because all she really wants is to be loved by her dad, but she doesn't, her, she realizes that her dad doesn't understand that she doesn't want to be the typical woman. She wants to be her own woman. Okay, so there's a big issue with identity and who like society thinks we should be. Okay, so there's a group now that comes to visit Baptista. Okay, it's Gremio with Lucentio, who is dressed as the school teacher, Petruchio and Hortensio, and then there's Tranio, who is dressed as Lucentio. Okay, the introductions are just chaos because if you can attempt you know i'm telling you who's who but now they're all trying to remember who's who as they're saying who they are okay so it's like trying to say like hi i'm jess Lindsay, jess okay it's like you're tripping over your stuff you don't know who you are anymore so it's a little odd a little awkward um but petruchio just kind of is like hey i want to see that girl that's really rude your daughter katharina yeah can i see her and everybody's like, wait, what? Somebody wants to see Katharina? This is weird. Okay. <clears throat> so he also gets a gift, or Baptista gets a gift, I'm sorry. Um, Petruchio continues to press Baptista for more information about Katharina, and he has to tell Baptista that he will give or he will get, I'm sorry, Baptista has to tell Petruchio that he will get a considerable size dowry if he is successful in wooing Katharina, okay? Petruchio says, I got this, don't you worry. Okay, um, Hortensio, in the meantime, while that, while that was taking place, Hortensio tried to teach Katharina how to play the lute, which is basically a flute, um, but she took the instrument and smashed it over his head because why not? Uh, it's just part of her nature. <laughs> so, um, Baptista has to go kind of like calm things down. And while he's away, Petruchio says, you know what, I'm gonna call her Kate. I know she didn't say I could, but that's what I'm gonna do. So as soon as Baptista brings Katharina to meet Petruchio, she just starts tearing into him, okay? She's very witty, which for Petruchio, it proves to him that she is his equal. And that's honestly all that she's really wanted um, because, and that's what he wanted because he feels that he has been around women that are just very slow-witted, very, you know, very dim, very dumb. She's got very elaborate puns, um, you know, and she's just very quick, okay? And Petruchio really likes that, but he also realizes now, like, this will be a challenge. It's not going to be just, like, something easy for me. It's going to be a challenge, but he leaves by saying, 
don't worry, I'm going to marry you. And he leaves, Petruchio leaves and tells Baptista that yes, she does want to marry him, which she never said yes, just so we know. But he's, Baptista's ecstatic over this, okay? Um, but Petruchio also says that Katharina can't keep her hands off of him, which is a lie. Thank you, bud. Um, so that's, uh, that's really it that happens in act two. I don't, there's not that much else, but let me now share, hold on, let me share this with you guys. Bear with me. Okay, this kind of helps. So I'll post this one again too, okay? Sorry. So this gives a good little gist as to what's going on. Okay, so there's something always happening. Baptista won't let anybody near Bianca until Katharina gets married. Okay, Lucentio has a brainstorm. They're going to dress up as each other and become a private tutor. Petruchio shows up to find a rich girl to marry. Okay, so this is this is a very simplified version. It's even more simplified than Spark Notes. I think this might help a little better. Um, okay, so we left off on this picture that Katharina ties up Bianca and dad has to come save the day. And then right after that is when the group of men, Hortensio, Gremio, Petruchio, Lucentio, they all show up to start to try to woo Bianca and Katharina to put this plot into motion. Okay, so I'm gonna post that. Um, hold on, whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, so now at this point, you guys should read act three or, you know, act two, it doesn't matter. You guys have essentially until next Wednesday is your, is when your essay is due. So just try to finish it by then. Um, it is a very funny, uh, play. Sorry, my brain's just not functioning after that meeting. Okay, so again, I'm going to try to record the movie, but I don't know if I'll be very successful in that, so I will do my best. Um, any questions that you guys have regarding the play, please send them to me so that you give me something else to talk about instead of just the play. Um, all right, and I will see you guys soon. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye, guys.